Hello everyone. Welcome to today's topic. Today we are going to discuss about the topic unlocking the power of Frontastic Frontend. The Frontastic is a frontend for commerce tools and today we are going to discuss on the benefits, features and a comparison of Frontastic with other JavaScript frameworks and why it is benefit to build an e-commerce application which have a commerce tool as a backend. And today we have Anusha and Nidin. Both of them have an experience in Frontastic and they will be going to discuss on this topic. Over to you, Anusha. Hi everyone. Today I'm going to speak about Frontastic, unlocking the power of Frontastic, front-end for commerce. Here, I've listed out few advantages of Frontastic. Headless Commerce Frontend. Frontastic is designed specifically for managing e-commerce application on top of headless architecture. Coming to next point, design system. Frontastic provides a design system with predefined layers. Coming to next point, content management. Frontastic includes content management feature, which makes easier for managing and updating data. Performance optimization. Frontastic is optimized and it it ensures fast and efficient loading. API integration. Frontastic allows seamless integration between front-end and the back-end. Cloud-based. It's obviously a cloud-based technology, reducing infrastructure burden. Automated builds. Frontastic, when it builds, it pushes the code to the master branch and it's been ready for deployment. Coming to next slide. Here, when we compare a normal framework and a Frontastic framework, the header component has been built very easily in the Frontastic and the routing has been done very easily when compared to other frameworks. We, using static pages, the folder structure when compared to other frameworks, the Frontastic is much organized way and it includes backend folder where you can use Node.js framework like Thank you. Now, Nitin will be explaining you about Frontastic application, which we have built through Frontastic. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Nitin, and I'll be taking you through the Frontastic Studio and rest of its feature. So, right, if you can see at my screen, uh, we have the Frontastic Studio, and Studio has its own site builder. So, site builder is where the business user can come, delete, and add any of the version of the page. Uh, then we have the dynamic pages so in dynamic pages we can uh, add pdp plp or blog items so these are more of like dynamic data which is coming on the pages then we have media and developing tooling which are which are more important part of the studio so after then this we can we go to the site builder and inside of the site builder we have in the left pane if you see we have our site urls or the pages which are available so in the left pane we just created one of the uh, page folder which is demo page and it has a url demo and when i click on the new page folder it usually cre it creates a similar kind of uh, uh, of a page version and from here only the user or the developer can uh, move the page move, move the page from development to staging to production henceforth so once we click on the demo item, we can create a new page version. So what is a new page version? Page version is something that we want to display over that page and we can have it have its multiple version and we can name it as required. So I've just named it as demo version one. Okay, so here we have three sections head, main and footer. So head head by by name it means it will contain the header navigation part of it of the website. I just created few of it. So I'm I'm not I'm not creating a new one because it it's, it it might take some time. So I have created few of header and footer. Well, I'll just drag and drop it over here. And in the main is the middle section of our website. So I'll just click on the add element. So here we have the grid system available at the top. If you see it, it's a layout element and inside the layout element we have a uh, 12 column grid so one means 12 column grid two means uh, one and a half that means six by six grid and this means four by three grid so i'll just select the one and inside of this one i can just drag any of the items that have created as a part of our component so i'm just adding home page over here 
and then we have our link that I can add I can put anything over here whichever link I want to name it to and save so once I click on save it will be saved and it will take 15-20 minutes for the preview to be generated you can also click preview over here so this gives you a preview link which is a temporary link that it creates that the studio creates for you just to see how things are looking so this is the navigation that we have just added and this is the middle section that we have added just now and this is the footer so this is all that it has been taken care by studio itself now when the developer wants to create a new uh, component or edit the custom one so when the developer wants to create a new new component or maybe he wants to edit the existing one we can always go to the our repository so this is the Frontastic repository as we see here we have a lot many pre-built components available from the team Frontastic which can be utilized and also we can create our own if needed so if I'll just go to the packages here we see POC and inside of that we see front-end and the back-end so by back-end it doesn't mean that it's a back-end code it's a it's a back-end code maybe we you can utilize by putting node.js or any of the back-end technologies within the front-end that you can put over here and you can customize the APIs which are coming as a part of Frontastic coming from the commerce tool that can also be customized in the back-end folder here and the front-end if you see we have this folder which is Frontastic and the task you can create a new component of your choice so once you make the component and everything is fine over you just push the code so after pushing the code we move to the code gets moved to the repository which is github now github is uh, very much connected to the Frontastic uh, studio and then netlify and then uh, the the all the servers that are available so uh, so whichever code you just push it will come as a pull request over here you create a pull request for it and it will start a run uh, a check for itself so if the check is fine it will show a tick mark which is green in color and if it's uh, if it's not good if it's if it has failed it will show as a cross which is red in color always the developer can go ahead and see what could be the issue from here itself so it, this is a part of activity that uh, Frontastic provides uh, so that uh, the bad code is not pushed to the repository and uh, all the servers are running fine post the uh, adding of new code so once that is completed you can see that uh, the checks are completed and you can now go ahead to Netlify so Netlify is a service that is being provided by Frontastic team so it helps to uh, get you started immediately once you have the uh, code base ready with you you just have to set up the DNS uh, using your DevOps team and then uh, you can utilize the uh, pipeline which has been you know already added by Frontastic team uh, okay so if you see we have the deploy preview available in the Netlify and this preview is basically basically the code that the team has just pushed it will be any code that the team has pushed and uh, it will start automatically deploying by itself so once the deployment is completed you can see over here that the POC Royal Cyber front end site it is available over here so this link will be generated and once you click on it you will land up to the, the site that has been deployed so I'll just show you how uh, the PDP and PLP are available within the Fantastic Studio. It has very basic feature coming from uh, which are required for a PDP PLP page which is like a view, uh, filter, sorting, no more button. So when you click on any of the item it will land you to the PLP page. So I've just deployed this site so it's running some, giving some error. So that is uh, the PDP and PLP page. So, so once this is completed and you just have added the Frontastic code um, now you want to deploy the fr Frontastic backend code what you can do is you can go to the developer and from here you can go to deployment 
and from the deployment you can see here we have backend deployment as well as frontend deployment so frontend deployment is basically been taken care by the netlify but the backend deployment you um, it has to be triggered manually so for the backend deployment the code will be automatically running the check if the checks are completed and you feel that uh, the, the version can be deployed you can just click on this deploy new version and you can select the version which has been newly added so that was the last part of it and uh, from here you can move the pro site to the production staging and development from the fantastic studio itself so that was all about the fantastic studio and what we have to present thank you for so thank you so much for your time